guys, welcome to Falcon State 3 and today I'm going to be sharing a gift guide with you. The first gift is a gift that involves an experience. So if you want to go horse riding with the horse girl in your life, you can go on a trip. You can go to a sporting event if you really like sports, pretty much anything that you guys can experience together. Second thing kind of goes along with the first one and that's buying them concert tickets and you might have to fight tooth and nail for the Eras tour ticket, but if you have a Swifty in your life, they would really appreciate this one. Third thing is something that involves their hobbies. This could pretty much be anything. You can get them a football if they like football. You can get them knitting needles if they like to knit. You could also get them a gym membership if they want one. The next thing is a Skillshare membership. So if they want to learn something, maybe they're building a business or they're an artist, but they're trying to find their style, you could do that. This isn't sponsored by Skillshare, but if Skillshare wants to sponsor me, all my info is in the description box. Along with Skillshare, like helping them learn something, you can also get them something that pertains to their New Year's resolution. So if their goal was to run a marathon, you could get them tickets for that marathon. I want to run a marathon, but I don't know if my knees will allow me to actually we get through the whole thing so maybe we'll start with the half, half marathon going along with the marathon next thing is workout equipment so maybe they don't want to work out at a gym but they want to work out at home you could get them some bands some kettlebells some dumbbells pretty much anything maybe a squat rack if they have like room in their house the next thing is a themed basket you can make them like one for like a wine night or a self-care night or a movie night I mean, pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be at night either. The next thing you can get them is a picnic basket. I have like this cute little like heart picnic basket and I think it's perfect for picnics, but also for like Easter. If you have like maybe a kid that's going to like an Easter egg hunt and they want to use that too. It's, you know, two for one. Going along with Easter, you know, the body and blood of Christ, you can get them a wine bottle and you could also get them some wine glasses. I think these colorful ones from Estelle are very pretty. I'll link them down below. And if you like a strong wine, I suggest trying the Snoop Dogg wine. I got it from Target. I don't remember how much it was, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below too. The next thing is a workout clothing set along with the New Year's resolutions. They say that if you're dressed cute to work out, it's easier to actually do the workout or to actually go and do the workout. So you can do that. You can also get them workout shoes and shoes are really important for fitness. If they're doing weightlifting, you want like a flatter shoe. And then if they're running, there's like a whole bunch of different type of running shoes. So I would just research and see like which ones are the best for whatever they're going to do. The next thing is regular shoes. So it could either be a pair of shoes that maybe they want but they never buy themselves or shoes that they need. For example, the New Balance 550s are really popular right now. Next thing is slippers. I've heard Ugg slippers are really comfortable. Don't get the platform ones. If you want to know my opinion about the platform Uggs, I will have it linked in the iCard. I believe it's going to be in this corner. So go check that video out if you want to know my opinion on the platform Uggs. Next thing along with slippers is pajamas. I think everybody likes a matching pajama set. Even if you don't actually wear them to bed, you just wear them for like holiday pictures. Along with pajamas is robes. There's so many different types of robes. There's thin robes, thick robes, fuzzy, silk, like so many different ones. You have a plethora of options. Buying something in your friend's Depop likes or their like Poshmark likes. So if you click on somebody's profile in Depop, you can see what they've liked and then you could buy that for them. You can get them some sweaters. You know, it's winter time, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter time. So you can throw sweaters, you can make them a sweater, you can buy it new if you want, but I suggest the first two. This one I thrifted and it was probably like four bucks. Along with cozy sweaters is scarves. I like chunky scarves. I think those are so cute and they're also really practical if you live in a colder climate. Next thing is jewelry. So necklaces, earrings, bracelets, rings, bangles, anklets, whatever, whatever. The list goes on and on. And these are also a great way to accessorize and add your sense of personal style to an outfit. I guess this is also considered jewelry, but watches. When I was in sixth grade, I had this pink and white like zebra print rhinestone watch. And honestly, I feel like that like sparked my love 
for watches. You could get them an Apple Watch or an Apple Watch band. Similar to an Apple Watch is a Fitbit or like a fitness watch, like a, I think it's Jarman, Garmin. I don't know, but I like those two brands for like fitness watches. I like Fitbits because usually I only wear fitness watches for the heart rate, how many steps I've like taken, and honestly, that's pretty much it. So if you don't want all the like text message, like all that stuff that you get with an Apple Watch, I would suggest a Fitbit, Jarman, or just any fitness band. We're not even halfway and I'm already out of breath. So if you got any value from this, hit the like button. The next thing is a cool bag. I feel like everyone likes a good bag because you don't have to hold stuff in your hands and it also adds another element to your outfit. Along with cool bags, you could also crochet and hand sew a bag. You could also just get them a canvas tote bag. Canvas tote bags, I feel like, are the triangle backpack of this generation. You could also accessorize with hair accessories, so headbands, clips, beads. What else do you put in here? You can honestly put anything in your hair. Next thing you could get them is a balaclava. I think that's how you pronounce it. I almost thought it was baklava, but that's like, I think that's, isn't that a Turkish dish? You could get them baklava if they like baklava. You could get them a pair of sunglasses. I love a good sunny. Next thing is leg warmers. Those are really popular right now. I don't really wear leg warmers because they remind me of dance or like the 80s, but even though I wasn't even born in the 80s, so how would I know? But they do like make sense. Like they keep your ankles, calves warm. Next thing is a vintage fur hat. Don't buy new fur, buy like vintage ones that are already produced. I think vintage fur hats are so cute and I've been trying to buy some. I mentioned this in a previous video. I've been trying to buy some, but every time I message the eBay sellers, they never respond to me. And then by the time I go and look at it, it's already sold. So I feel like I'm getting finessed on eBay. Besides vintage for hats, you could get a beret. I've really been loving berets. I actually made this one. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I made this, actually I'm not making a tutorial, but I'll link the tutorial that I use. And I think it's really cute. I think I did a good job. The next like three gifts you should get are skincare sets, perfume sets, or makeup sets. You can check Ulta and Sephora. They usually have pretty good deals when it comes to those kinds of sets. You can also get them a cat to hide the scent of their cat's urine. Not my cat. Actually, I don't even have a cat, but y'all stay safe, okay? Get your friend a candle. Even if they don't have a cat, get them a candle because candles just smell good. Soy-based candles are better for you and for like your pets and stuff. You could get them some home decor trinkets. I really like getting home decor trinkets like when I travel and it's just a reminder of like the experience you had like in that country or city or wherever you went. The next thing is ceramics or glass decor. You can make ceramics or you could thrift. Plus you could like put like your rings in there, you could put your SD cards in there, you can put, I don't know, if you have like paper clips. Next thing is a good book. I just read Verity by Colleen Hoover and it started off slow but the ending was pretty good. So if you want to read something by Colleen Hoover, I recommend that, good, that book. Or you could get a productivity or a business book so that you are one step closer to being a finance bro. You could get a fashion sketchbook to prepare to be on the next season of Project Runway. I don't even know if it's coming back, but I guess we'll see. You could get cookbooks for the idiot sandwiches of the group. You could get a cute journal or you could make one for the spirituals of the group. You could also get them a planner for the upcoming year so they can pretend to have their lives together. You could also get like um, photo books or coffee, like coffee table books if people really like aesthetics or they like advertising or pretty much anything photography. There's so many like photo books of like random stuff. I have a sneaker advertising book. I have Vogue magazine cover one. I have one about cars. I don't even care about cars, but it was a cool book. You could get them a script book of like their favorite movie or a movie that is inspirational to them if they're going into like the film industry. You could get a photo album for them and put pictures of you guys together in there. For the photographers, you could get enlarged pictures that you took or enlarged pictures that they took. 
you could get them a projector because flat screens are no longer what the cool kids have. All the cool kids have projectors now. Actually, I don't even know. You could get them a film camera, old like digital camera for the wannabe it girls. You could get them just a regular camera. A popular camera is the Canon G7X for like vlogging, but people also use it for sit down videos. People use the Sony ZV-1 also for vlogging. I have the Sony A7 IV. This camera is ridiculously expensive, like I'm not even gonna lie. So I would say probably don't get this camera, but maybe one of those first two or the Canon M50. You could get them a tripod or a mic so that they can have a setup. You can get them lighting, like a new lens if they already have a camera and you just get them like maybe a wide angle lens or um, a macro lens. You could get them podcast equipment, unless they're an alpha male, then podcast equipment does not exist. You could get them gaming equipment, so headphones, you could get them a gaming chair, keyboard, like a PC. You could get them vinyls and a record player if they're, you know, quirky, different, they like old school music. Next, you can get them a photo printer if they really value like tangible memories. And that could also go along with the photo album that I mentioned, I don't even know how long ago. You could get them a sunrise clock if they live. I know a lot of like college apartments, like apartments near college campuses, there's, there's, there's very little windows. So getting a sunrise clock and like emulating the sun, that would be really helpful for like a college student that you know. You could get them a phone case, like it's 2012 and phone case collections are all the rage here on YouTube. You could get them headphones so they can be like the loner main character girl who eventually like falls in love with the jock but is like in the corner like. You could get them a sewing machine. I've really been getting into sewing. As I said, I made this. You could also get them a serger. You could get them sewing accessories like cutting boards, scissors, thread, fasteners, pretty much anything sewing related. Fabric. You could get them a dress form. You could get them an espresso machine if they like coffee. You could get them, or I guess like lattes and espressos. You could get them a coffee machine if they just like a plain mug of coffee. You could get them a matcha kit. You could get them a rice cooker. Rice is pretty much essential in almost every culture. You could get them an air fryer if they're a lazy cook. You can get them a toaster. You can get them dishware, pots and pans, like a pot and pan set. Or you can get them an hour place pan. I really like those. I really like the colors from the Selena Gomez collection. You could get them a mug with like a quote or you can like hand make the mug and like put their name on it or something. You could get them cute bedding like blankets, pillowcases, pillows, a comforter. You could get them plotting, plotting. You can get them planting supplies like a shovel or like little pots or like a garden stands. Those little I don't know what they're called, the little bucket things that you pour the water out. What are those things called? A little... All you can think of is a teapot, and I know it's not a teapot. You could get them a plant, a creative class or like lesson. Going along with that, you could get them an activity class if they want to learn how to dance or skate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out tomorrow's video. This is the playlist for Vlogmas 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.